The last chapter of this tutorial is about the Eon FX engine. Please find the Eon FX tab in the tabs menu to see the effect library. The library is divided into subfolders to better search for suitable effects. Most effects are shader effects, which are processed on the graphics card from a performance perspective. To use an effect, open the subfolder and drag the effect on a layer. This procedure implies that the effect and its parameters is now part of the layer and available for all your sequences at any time. It also means that these parameters have to be processed at any time. To see the effect in action, please drop two different videos on layer 1 and 2 and let them loop. If you know the name of the effect you want to use, you can enter the name into the search panel. Selecting the effect will show the documentation of the effect library, where you can already read about the effect's behavior, parameter count and parameter usage. Now add the iris effect on layer 2. Opening the device control tab, it shows the added parameters for the iris effect on the layer. They can also be found in the device tree by opening the layer structure. Effects always have a mix parameter. This parameter either turns the effect on or mostly it is used as an opacity parameter to add the effect to the source signal. If you turn it on, you can directly see the iris effect in action. The different parameters will influence the behavior of the effect. You may imagine that these parameters can also be controlled remotely and track position data is using the UV coordinates to reveal content on these positions. Not only video and graphics layer can use effects, but also outputs can have effects attached. Please try to add the RGB multiply effect to the first output and, to make this visible, change the preview to output 1. This effect can be used to have a color correction for this output and connect the displays for example. Everything rendered to this output will be influenced by this effect. Now please try adding the effect black and white also to output 1. As expected, the output turns black and white when you turn on the mix fader. But the RGB multiply effect still influences the outcoming image. The render order for effects follows the same rules as layers do. The order in the device tree, from top to bottom, defines the render order of effects. Please switch the order of these two effects and notice the change in the effect's behavior. To delete an effect from a layer, please right-click the effect name in the device tree or in the device control tab and hit remove or remove fx. Please make sure you really do not have program keys in different containers as they will be deleted without having an undo function. To avoid annoying drag, drop and delete workflow while looking for the right effect you need, there is the FX Explorer. 
By right-clicking an effect in the Eon FX tab, you can launch the FX Explorer with this effect. The effect will be automatically added to the selected layer or output and you can try playing around with its parameters. If you want to try a different effect now, you can just switch the effect in the effect list and again in the effect will be automatically added to the layer or output while the former effect will be deleted directly. Finally, you can either abort the whole action and no FX will be added to the layer or confirm your settings and effect and parameters will stay active on these parameters. The third option is to confirm the current effect settings and add another one. Please keep in mind that some effects are limited to server license only and cannot be used on player software. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that you get the Pandora's box make the virtual reality idea. If you are interested in more learning, there are live trainings available. First and second grade, what you just did here, and advanced trainings also. The schedule you can find at our homepage, christypandorasbox.com. Please have a look into Pandora's Box Widget Designer as well. This application is a great tool to create custom control user interfaces for Pandora's Box and much more. If you have a question, please have a look into our help file, our support forum, put your question in an email to support.pandorasbox at christydigital.com or phone us directly between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. CT under plus four nine two two one nine nine five one two three hundred. So, thank you again, stay creative and have fun using our products.